like and subscribe to our YouTube channel if you like our content. Leave a comment for us, positive or negative. But if you are negative, I will blast you. So that's come correct. Just saying. Yeah, but I got a good shot of you right now. Don't mess it up. You really need to get some little gloves for uh, Monday, Wednesday, you need little gloves. Tuesday, Thursday, you need big gloves. We're gonna do a lot of grappling today, um, but we're gonna warm up <coughs> with the hands a little bit. So watch our first drill. I'm gonna go high and low with the jab. One, one with the jab. I'm gonna fake low and I'm gonna step in with my uppercut here. So I fake low and freeze him. Okay, so again, one, one. I just went low, see how I didn't step in yet? Now I'm gonna pump, step in on my uppercut. Hook into my fit in. Push. Second one, I'm gonna do the same thing. High, low. I'm gonna fake low, uppercut, hook. I'm gonna throw my overhand, and I'm in head inside. So the first one's head outside, the second one is head inside. Working off the high and low first. High, low, fake low, uppercut. Hook, head outside, like a puzzle piece. There's no daylight between Coach Ethan and I. I turn the corner, reset. Second one, high, low, same deal. Fake low, step in on my uppercut, hook, chop, head inside. My head is up, my hips are in. No daylight between Coach Ethan and myself. You guys got that? Freeze him with the fake, high. Low, freeze him, step in with my uppercut. Keep your chin up. I'm looking up at you so I can talk to you, but I want to be here. Hook, head outside. Second one, high, low, freeze him, uppercut, hook, chop, head inside. Yes? I'll do what you did. Double or a single, it, it doesn't really matter. Head outside, I'm going double leg. Head inside can be a single or a double. Okay, I just care about the fit in right now. Okay, so again, high, low. Don't forget to pump fake down here. That's gonna get the reaction you want. That's gonna set up the uppercut. We can use a bunch of different ways to get into this uppercut, but I'm gonna pump fake and step in with my uppercut. Hook, and when I, when I throw my hook, look, I'm lined up here. Right into my fit in. My head is up, my hips are in. On the second one, high, low, pump fake. Up, hook, and I'm gonna chop right here. Chop. Come right in on my fit in. My head is up, my hips are in. On the right hand, bang. Just opens things up for me. Kind of naturally puts my head inside. On the hook here, I take that little step kind of naturally puts my head on the outside. So I want the path of least resistance to my fit in there. It doesn't really matter. I can fit in head inside. I can go head inside on both of them. We're doing this for a reason because when we finish the takedown and work our get-ups, the head's going to be on one side on one finish, the head will be on the other side on the other. Side. Yes? I'll do what you do. right now. Just get your fit in. to our finishes now I want you guys to make sure you spread out you are responsible for your training partner where you put your training partner down if you put your training partner into someone behind you that is your fault okay so just make sure that we stay safe until the kids clear out we'll have a little more space to move around but right now we don't have a whole lot of room so you got to put your partner down within a confined space Okay, so safety first. That's what we say here at Spartan Fitness. 
safety first. So again, high, low with the jab. I'm not seeing you guys sell me on the pump fake. The pump fake is what's gonna get the reaction that I want, right? I fake low like I'm gonna hit him in the nuts. And gentlemen, you all know that if someone goes to hit you in the nuts, you, whoa, you've been reacting to that since you were a kid, right? It's just, it's instinctive. You can't stop it. There's nothing you can do about it. If someone tries to hit you in the nuts, you react, right? So it's just a pump fake like I'm gonna hit him in the balls right now. And then I use that to step in. I don't step in until the pump fake. I'm out. So I went high, low, I'm out. Pump, then I step in. Hook, double leg. And I'm gonna finish here. His feet are off the mat. My knees are off the mat. All my weight's on Coach Ethan here. Okay, once I finish, reset, he's gonna work his way back to his feet. And then we'll go again. High, low, pump fake. Pump, chop, here. And again, I'm gonna finish. My head's on the opposite side. Okay, I'm up off my knees. I've gathered in his legs here, and I want to feel how that feels. Okay, I want nice control. I don't want you to finish on your knees. I want your weight on your partner. Okay, when we work our way back to our feet here in a minute. They need to feel that, all that pressure, because that's what they're going to get in the fight. Make sense? So again, stay off your knees. One more time. High, low. Pump fake, don't forget the pump fake. That's what gives me the reaction that I want. Pump fake, go. Hook, double leg. Look to finish. I got his feet off the floor. My knees are off the mat. My shoulders in his solar plexus here. Kind of feel how this feels. At least I'll let him back to his feet. Second one, high, low, pump fake. Finish. Again, I'm off my knees, my shoulders in his solar plexus, his feet are off the floor. Yes? One, three, one, two, three. Do it. Find your space, find your partner, watch where you put your partner. Do it. Pushing with my head. Wherever my head is set up, off this hook here, I'm here, I'm pushing with my head. If my head's on the inside, same deal, I'm pushing with my head. Right? So push with your head. If you're not pushing with your head, you're doing it wrong. I'm not pushing with my shoulder, I'm pushing with my head. Does that make sense? I'll do what you do. Do it. Let's work. We, uh, long time ago, it was a person fighting in the cage and one of the coaches who's kind of a buffoon just kept screaming at his guy, just get up, get up, just get up. Like, dog, I'm trying to get up. How about you tell me how to get up? So we're gonna work on that like, oh, I would just get up right there. Yeah, no, you wouldn't. Not if they're good at holding you down, okay? So there's a technique. If there's a wrestling problem or a jujitsu problem, there's a wrestling solution or a jujitsu solution, right? So we're gonna get into all that. So. Watch, we're gonna go through the same motions, only now instead of feeding, I'm just gonna block Coach Ethan's punches. So he's gonna go high, low, low with the jab. He's gonna fake low, uppercut, hook. He's gonna shoot, he's gonna finish this double leg here. Boom. Now watch, the first thing I wanna do, my feet are off the mat, so I can't push off my feet. Coach Ethan knows what he's doing, right? So what's the first thing I wanna do from here? What? Get his head on the same side as his butt. I want to push his head where his butt wants to be. Here. Right? That's one. Two. Now I'm gonna now that I've I've removed his head, now I can kind of put my foot on the floor here. And I'm gonna sit up and I'm gonna overhook right there. I wanna make sure when I'm doing this, I just don't leave this wrist here for him to grab. I want it to be kind of out here a little bit. Okay? Now watch what I'm doing. Hop up real quick. I'm grabbing 
the inside of my knee. Okay, that makes this overhook a little bit stronger. Makes my shoulder pressure a little bit stronger. If he's driving into me, kind of locks everything in right there. Okay. So he's here. I've successfully pushed his head to the side. I'm able to get at least my heels on the mat where now I can sit up and overhook right there. And look where I'm grabbing inside of or outside of my knee wrap. So if he's driving into me right here, my shoulder's heavy on his shoulder. Now all I'm gonna do is flip my hips to the mat and sprawl. And there's my sprawl. And then from here I can get into my attacks if I want to, or I can just pop up and reset. One more time, high, low, fake, up, hook, double leg. Boom. I move his head where his butt wants to be. See the frame? I use both hands. I take his head from here, use both hands. Frame out. Sometimes you can get up from here. The problem with this is if I just try to get up from here, he can run his hips around to the other side, and now I just, I fry and pan to fire. I just put myself in a different situation. Okay? So I frame here, and when I get the space I want, I sit up and overhook, and again, I grab the outside of my knee. So this is more powerful now if he wants to drive in. I'm good. Now, I just walk my bottom leg out and sprawl. Here. Again, I'm not on my knees. If I'm on my knees, see how there's no weight on him? Now he's much more mobile. He trains too, he's not just gonna let me get up, right? But here I'm heavy. I'm pushing on his head. I'm not on my knees. And I can get back to my feet. That's it. Now, second one, second combination. He's just gonna wind up on the opposite side. So I get to work both directions. High and low. Fake. Overhand here, he's gonna take me this way. Now, same deal. I need to put his head where his butt wants to be. Right here. Frame. Once I'm able to frame and make a little bit of space, sit up and I overhook. My wrist is nowhere near him, so I'm not in danger of him capturing my wrist. Capturing my wrist. Hips to the floor and I sprawl. My knees are not on the mat. All my weight is on Kochi. Get my feet away from him, work my way back to my feet. So it's the same thing that I did the first time. One, I'm pushing his head this way the first time, I'm pushing his head this way the second time. So I'm getting to work both directions. Makes sense? You guys need to see it again or we got it? One more time. <clears throat> so regardless of which one he does, I don't care. Doesn't matter to me. Right away. I'm looking to push his head where his butt wants to be. Sit up and wrap this up. Again, I can try to fight my way back to my feet from here, but if, yeah, he's mobile. Right now, if he tries to hop his legs over, this doesn't do him any good. See that? Try to go to the other side. He can't get there. He can't get there. Remember to grab the outside of your knee right here. This makes a huge difference. Okay? Now if he tries to run around behind to my back, he's just, we're just running in circles. And anytime I want now, take my hips to the mat. He's not gonna be able to hold onto that. Okay? That's how you fight your way back to your feet. Then we'll get into using our hooks here in just a minute if I'm a little bit too late. He's got my legs wrapped, which is where they wanna go from here. Push his head where his butt wants to be. Sit up and overhook. Remember to cup the outside of your knee. Hips to the floor. We got a little bit more space so you guys can spread out a little bit. We got a little bit more room so we're not getting close to each other on the takedowns. Yes? One side you're gonna get up, one side you're gonna take each other down. We're gonna do a five minute study. This really kind of feel how everything feels. Get, get to this position and see if they can run around to your back. Heavy shoulder. When I'm here, my shoulder is on top of his shoulder. And I'm heavy with it. 
right? I'm he heavy shoulder here. Okay? If he wants to keep his hands locked, he's not going to be able to do it as soon as I want to sprawl. Doesn't matter. Right? Heavy shoulder from that spot. Yes? One side fighting your way up, one side's working the takedown. On three, one, two, three. If I just try to push in his head, he can move to my back. Okay, watch. So just walking around, some of you guys are, are pretty much making this, the same mistake. So Coach Ethan gets a takedown. It doesn't matter which one. Here, boom. Fine. Now, right away, I want to push his head. Listen to the words coming out of my mouth and understand what they mean. Now, if he finishes the takedown like this, his head's already over there, right? So I don't have to move his head. I can just sit up and overhook, boom, and sprawl. Much easier for me to deal with. But if he doesn't take down properly, and his head's over here, his butt's over here, I'm gonna have to move his head. And see how, see I just made space right there with my frames? Now I can sit up. Grab the outside of my knee. And again, he can't run around behind me and take my back because of this overhook right here. And my heavy shoulder. My shoulder is on top of his shoulder. Right? Right from here. And now I just go hips to the floor. Then I push on his head so that he can't maneuver his way around. He can't get back to his feet because I'm posting on his head. All right? So push his head where his butt wants to be, then sit up and overhook. Your shoulder's on top of his shoulder. Heavy shoulder pressure, so he can't run around behind you. Then I sprawl, hips to the mat, post on the head, stand up. Good? Everybody good? I'll do what you did. Same side. This works even if even if he's got my legs laced, but there's there's another way. Okay? So let's say Coach Ethan gets me down either way here and he laces my legs right here. Just like that. I want to escape my knees. Okay? Sometimes I'm not able to get this overhook in there. Okay? I'm not able to get this overhook. He's hiding this from me. This is not working. But I am able to sit up. Okay, right from here, watch what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna grab his lap on this side, okay? And as he's trying to climb the tree here, right, see how I'm, I'm up like this? He's trying to drive me back down. As he's trying to drive in, there's my sweep. So watch, again, he's taking me down, he's got my legs wrapped right there. I want to escape my knees. Once I can escape my knees, you see I pull my knees in and I make a hook here. This top foot is hooking his leg. And I keep contact. Where does he want to go? If I'm sitting up, he's going to be trying to drive in, right? See, I keep connected. He wants to push me back down. He might want to pass to the backside. He might want to pass to the front. Either way, I don't care. Okay? If his head's on the other side. I didn't show this first because this is, this is too easy. I don't want you to be lazy. I want you to try to wrestle up first. Okay. When he gets here and he's able to lace my legs, I gotta pull my knees to my chest and I'm gonna hook his leg with my foot. Right? 
Again, I don't want to let him control this wrist so I'm here or I'm here. But if I'm sitting up, he wants to drive me back in. He might want to run his hips around this way. That's fine. He might want to run his hips around this way. That's fine too. Watch what I'm doing here. I'm hooking his lat. I'm pulling my knee to my chest. And kicking. I drop him off here. I don't want to follow him over and wind up in some sort of a leg entanglement. Right? Give him an opportunity to wrestle up. I drop him off right here. So as I go, I drop him off here. As I sit up, I block his guard on the way up. I still have his lat hooked. Come right here, man. I still have his lat hooked. I block his guard, and now I get off my knees. Shoulder of justice. Did you get that shot? Need me to do it again? Yeah? Okay, yeah. cool. I'll do it again. <laughs> Shoulder of justice right there. I got to block his guard. I don't want to let him get back to his hips. See how this stops him from going to his knees also? Right? Shoulder of justice. And then I can move to mount if I want to. If he's able to kind of surf this and not go all the way over and get swept. Worst case scenario, I take the underhook and wrestle up. So let's say he's got cat-like balance like Ethan does and he's able to get this leg kind of post out. When I go to sweep him, I just take the underhook and pummel up. Now I'm in a good spot. I got back to my feet. I'm not on my back. Does that make sense? So I use that sweep. If, he, if we stall out here and I don't turn him all the way over, you're going to feel that right about here. Pummel in. Rustle up. So watch what I'm doing. It's this rocking chair motion. He finished the double. He's looking to wrap my legs. I pull my knees to my chest and I want to connect with my top leg. I grab his lap and now as he's driving in, now as I come up, block, shoulder adjustment. If he's able to ride that and not get swept, whoop, I felt that. I come up with the underhook and I'm in a good position to wind up on top from there. Does that make sense? So again, watch the motion here. I sit up, he can't do much to me if I'm like this. He needs me on my back. As I sit up, I feel him driving in. I don't have an overhook. He thinks he can move to my back. He might try to come to mount. As long as I keep this connected, I'm good. So I sit up, I connect with this top leg as he drives in. I drop him off right here. Don't follow him over. Drop him off, then come up. Or I stall out here, take the underhook, wrestle up. Yes? I want you to start from right here. Just start from here first. Okay, and feel how this feels. Let me see that both sides can do this for a minute or two, and then I'll switch you. Or then we'll start, we'll go all the way from standing. So start right here. I can initiate this right here. He's not just gonna let me come back up. He's gonna try to drive me back down, right? Perfect. When you guys get this down, man, this is so easy. And again, He's like, oh, I'm going to win. I'm going to go to mount, right? Oh, I got him. No, you do not. Oh, I'm going to go to his back. I got him. See how I'm tracking him with my foot? I'm connected here. If he tries to climb this way, got him. If he 
He tries to move to my back. Got it. As long as that top hook makes a connection here. Right? Easy. All day. Try it. All three, one, two, three. Do it. Do you like that knee bar? Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> hey, real quick, just for the camera. I'm ready. As I'm here, okay, there is an opportunity if one leg, if he leaves a leg hanging, as I go here, there's my knee bar. One more time. As I go to hit my sweep, there's his leg. Dunzo. Don't do that. But, it's there. Brown belt and above, you can knee bar. I'm just kidding, fuck it, do it. Don't tell Coach Hodger. All three, one, two, three. That's how I teach too. <laughs> Don't tell Uncle Hodger. Start from the floor first. Over. Sit up like this. You can still do it from here, but it's way hard. I want you to build up to here. Now look, they, they have to drive back, they've got to drive me down. If I'm up like this, I'll get back to my feet. So as soon as I sit up, they're going to try to push me back down. I use that, and I drop him off right here. I drop him off here. Don't follow him over, you're going to wind up in his guard. Okay? Boom, drop him off, block the hip, come up, shoulder of justice. Right? Don't follow him over. Drop him off right there. And right here, if it stalls out, pummel up. Don't stop. Keep moving. Use the momentum. Coming up to here is going to give you momentum, like that rocking chair. Right? I sat, I sat up this way. He pushes in. I use his energy against him. Yeah? One thing, what you do? Make sure you're switching top to bottom. All right, look in. Questions, comments, concerns? Everybody nail that? Good to go. So we worked on wrestling up. So we worked on wrestling up first. Push their head where their ass wants to go, sit up, take the overhook. If we get stuck, if they lace their legs, it's not over with, right? Pull your knees, if you can free your knees, you can hit that sweep, right? And I use that hook to jujitsu my way up. Right? Remember, I want to come all the way up so I've got this, this momentum. When I sit up, they're going to try to drive back in, right? And they think they made it. They're like, oh, I'm going to go to mount, or oh, I'm going to move to his back. This hook stays connected. And then I come up on top, I give him that shoulder of justice. Yes? All right, cool. Line up real quick. Real quick, real quick. All right, so next class, I'm gonna go over some half guard magic, okay? I'm gonna show you how to stop anybody from holding you down from half guard and how to attack from there, so you don't wanna miss this period of instruction. So real quick, throw your tight pants on, throw your rash guards on, jump back on the mat so we can get to it. Like super fast, fast as you can, yes? Feet together, respect. Thank you for the training, let's go.